Hi everyone, welcome to Sue's Day. I'm Sue Ann Jafarian, the fat woman driving the novel RV. I'm coming to you today from Southern Mississippi. Like almost everywhere else, we got hit with below freezing temperatures. And I actually, for the first time in four and a half years of owning Novella, I had to winterize my van. I was really worried about it, but it turned out to be a big nothing. It was easy to do, and today, when I finish this video, I'm going to be dewinterizing. I'll also be leaving this campsite in a couple of days. But today, I wanted to talk about reevaluating whether or not I want to remain on the road. You see, when I first got on the road and started living as a nomad, I told myself I would reevaluate this lifestyle one year in. So, after the first year of being on the road, I did just that. I sat down and I thought about the pros and the cons, and was it good for me? Was it not good for me? Did I like it, for one thing? Um, and came to the conclusion that I love this lifestyle. So, I reset my calendar to reevaluate when I turned 70. Well, I turned 70 just a few days ago. This is what 70 looks like. You know, what can I say? This is it. Uh, so, over Christmas, I had to reevaluate my lifestyle and decide if it can continue to serve me best living in a van, or should I get off the road and return to sticks and bricks. I did the pros and cons, and there were a lot more pros than cons. I decided that, yes, I want to continue this lifestyle. I want to remain a nomad. I want to remain in this van with Moxie. And, and no, Moxie didn't get a vote in this. It was strictly me. Um, it's, it was a dictatorship regarding this. So, I will continue living my life in this van with all its ups and downs, challenges, and high points for the foreseeable future. I'm not sure if I'm going to reevaluate at 75, maybe at 72. Two more years, and then we'll see what happens. Of course, anything can happen in the meantime. My health could take a turn for the for the not so good. Uh, the van could take a turn for the not so good. Anything can happen in the next couple of years. But I've decided to reevaluate again when I turn 72. Uh, and you know, I get asked all the time if I have an exit plan. And a lot of full-time RVers say you must have an exit plan. I don't have one. I don't have a plan for getting off the road. I just feel that I'll know when the time is right. I'll either be forced off by health or maybe van issues or, I don't know, just the sheer desire to be back in the sticks and bricks. But I have no exact exit plan. When the time comes, I'll be ready for it. And maybe for the next few years, I'll just keep motoring around, staying in favorite campgrounds, visiting new places, meeting new people, writing new books. So that's what I did this week. I had a real good sit down meeting with myself and talked about my future. And my future is still on the open road. So the next time I see you, it will be a new year. So I wish you all the best for this new year. And I'll see you next Tuesday. I'll probably be in Alabama. I think that's where I'm going next. So I'll see you in 2023 from Alabama.